Hey everybody, it's uh, June 30th, 2020, the end of June. Wow, where did the time go? Anyways, um, I'm indebted to Peter Marty and to uh, an article he wrote in Christian Century for the idea for um, this devotion. So he writes there about conspiracy theories, um, and we've all heard conspiracy theories. Um, uh, po folks are trying to make sense out of something that doesn't make sense, trying to put order on something that's not orderly. And so we come up with these theories, these ideas that um, try to explain something that's not easily explainable. Um, and while I understand the, the need for putting order on things that aren't orderly, I'm not sure conspiracy theories are the way um, to go, and neither is uh, Peter Marty. And so he lifts up the original meaning of the word conspire. It's a Latin word that means to breathe together. You hear that? To breathe together, to agree, to unite. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we agreed to breathe together, if we agreed to unite in sharing the gospel, in sharing the good news, in sharing the story of God's grace and mercy and love and forgiveness and the acceptance that all people have through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that all people are valued and important and no one is insignificant or less than the other in the kingdom of God. And so if we look at Paul or uh, Luke's story in Acts about the Holy Spirit coming on the day of Pentecost, we're still in the Pentecost season, we hear these things. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem at the sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each and then continuing, and how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? So the people are amazed that what they are hearing has united them because they can all hear it together. They are all hearing the same message. They are all hearing the same words, the same story. And what is it that they hear? Well, Luke continues, and we don't often read this section of the second uh, chapter of, of the book of Acts, but it's Peter's first sermon. Peter delivers a sermon about who Jesus was and what he had done and his life and his death and his miracles and all those kinds of things and who he was for all the people of God who were gathered there, who were breathing together, who were united in hearing this message. And what's the end result of that for Luke in the book of Acts? Now, when they heard this, this sermon, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the others, brothers, what should we do? What should we do? Since we're hearing the same message and this message of grace and love and mercy and forgiveness and acceptance and that all people are important in the kingdom and no one is less than the other, what should we do? So Peter says to him, be baptized and receive these gifts. Receive this story. Let it become a part of who you are and define you. Let's breathe together the Spirit. And so Luke tells us thousands were gathered that day. And then what happened beyond that day? Well, Luke tells us, Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They were united. They were breathing together. They agreed on things. They agreed on who Jesus was and his importance in their life. And they shared that and they shared the goodwill with all people. And the people returned that goodwill. That breathing together was something that brought people together and gave them shape to things that didn't make sense and order to things that didn't seem orderly. Let us be about conspiring, uniting, agreeing, breathing together the breath of the Spirit of God, of his Son, Jesus Christ, and of his love and his grace and his mercy and his forgiveness and his acceptance and his love for all. 
and then let us share it with the world. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, come among us. Unite our breathing. Unite our wills. Unite our hearts. Unite our actions. Unite our hands. Unite our feet. Unite us to be messengers in the world that bring together, that share love, that share acceptance, that share forgiveness in your name. Breathe among us and in us and through us, Spirit of God. Amen. See you tomorrow.